there you have it. We've got our batteries in. We've got it connected to the board. By the way, I prefer to use these Duracell Pro Cells. Uh, energizers, to me, are the ones that seem to, to leak the most, other than the cheapy brands. And Duracell makes a higher end battery called the Pro Cell. You can get them off Amazon.com. You can buy them in bulk, and they're, they're as cheap, if not cheaper, than regular alkaline batteries. And they're supposed to be a little bit better and made for like mission critical scenarios and things where you don't need batteries failing or leaking. So we're going to put this thing back together. We're going to let that uh, screwdriver roll off the play field. Again, check to make sure all the connections are there and everything is right. And then we're going to shut this. And let's fire it up and see what we got. Oh. See, I unplugged the machine because that's the right thing to do. So let me go plug it back in. Well, first let me flip the switch off. And go plug it in because I like to unplug things before I work on them. All right. So let's fire it up. There we go. As expected, factory settings restored. Our error is going to be that the time and date is not set. And the volume is really loud. So let's go in. Set time and date. Okay, we're just going to set, it, set any old date right now just to verify that the batteries are working and that they're keeping the settings. Right. So... Put some credits in. Turn the game off. And then turn it back on and let's see if it remembers the settings. Yay, no credit dot. Um, another thing I want to point out, there's all, there's all kinds of different uh, battery, remote battery solutions. One of them you'll see is uh, the, these dowels with the screw in them where you can stick them into the thing. I guess you can do that. That seems kind of clunky to me. I'm not a big fan of that. I'd rather pull the board off and solder it. And if you're watching my series, you know that it's a little bit more in-depth. Obviously, uh, for some people, they may not want to have to unplug boards in the in the head and actually do any work on them, and I understand that. Maybe you're just watching this video series just so you know, you have an understanding, and don't want to go that far. You can, you can use these dowel things where they look like batteries and they are attached to something that connects somewhere else. Um, that's, that's an acceptable alternative if you don't want to actually uh, solder onto the board, but I think it's a minor a minor deal and it's definitely worth it and now we've got this thing permanently improved upon. So I hope you enjoy this. Visit pinballhelp.com for more and uh, until next time, thanks for watching.